Now we turn to an investigation that's still unfolding at this hour in Philadelphia's West Oak Lane section. And early this morning, someone broke out a couple's front window and shot them, leaving one partner dead and the other in the hospital. For more on what neighbors and police are saying, we turn to Action News reporter Corey Davis live at the scene along Summers Road. Corey, I'm sure the entire community is so shaken up by this. What are they telling you? Yeah, Nydia, Aliana, Alicia, good morning. So, yeah, a neighbor out here who we spoke with, uh, he lived here for more than 40 years, including other longtime neighbors on the block are telling us this is a bizarre crime because they just aren't used to this happening on their area. Uh, police have been focusing, though, on the shattered glass, the broken glass at the front of this home here, telling us that whoever broke it and shot the couple might have been trying to break in. A remaining piece of crime scene tape almost covered by the bushes outside this home along the 7800 block of Summers Road in West Oak Lane. The broken front windows are another indication that something happened here. Oh, I didn't even know it was uh, anyone really living in the house. Occasionally we would see a gentleman coming out putting the trash out. Furman Pace and several neighbors are now learning that a 44-year-old man and a 45-year-old woman were shot while inside the home around 1 o'clock this morning. Uh, it appears that the uh, shooter shooters were at the front of the uh, property and uh, had either broken a window or attempted to gain access. Investigators also say most of the shell casings were inside the house at the front window. They also tell us there was no indication that there was an exchange of gunfire and that they did not find a weapon. Police tell us the woman was shot in the leg and that the man was shot in the chest and right arm. Medics rushed him to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. This block isn't far from Washington Lane and West Shetlandham Avenue, which we're told is typically a quiet area. 45 years, relatively family neighborhood, uh, uh, older adults. Police say the couple was living in this two-story duplex while renovating the property and that several tools were found inside. They've been renovating this house for probably the last 15 to 20 years. Pace and his neighbors tell us they aren't used to this type of violent crime. It, it's sad. Like I said, in this neighborhood, uh, we don't really have anything like that. Because mm -hmm. uh, the biggest thing we've ever had was um, car robberies, I mean, car break-ins. And right now at this hour, we do know that police are still trying to get to the bottom of why this happened and also working to track down those who could be responsible for this. Reporting live here in West Oak Lane, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News.